Hello, nerdlings. What up, nerdlands? So, do you nerd for milestones? Ooh. Hey, nerdlings. Cam Nelder here, and you're watching everybody's favorite couple on YouTube. Do you nerd? Recently, we happened to hit a pretty cool game collecting milestone. We did. We hit the big three oh 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 no, not that oh. many. Slow down, not that many. Oh oh, <laughs> we got to our three thousandth game in the game collection. It is kind of totes for dick. So, there was a lot of question of what should I make my 3,000th game? Yeah, Cap had an idea. Yeah, Captain Algebra wanted it to be Magical Chase for the uh, Turbo Graphics, but I, I didn't really foresee that happening. <laughs> Fortunately, it was something just as special because it comes with a little something extra. Yeah. Well, I had a mutual friend who was wanting to get rid of some of their stuff. I was mentioned that I like to play video games, so they said, Hey, I got this thing in my attic. I don't know what kind of condition it is. I've been dragging it around after move, after move, after move. If you want it, I'll bring it in and let you take a look at it. I think it's a boxed NES system with the game still packed in there and everything. They may or may not be in there. I don't remember if I got rid of them or not. And I was like, sure, bring it in. Let me take a look at it. So I was all excited and he brought it in and he did tell me that the box was a little rough because it has been moved around a lot, but it was in fact a boxed NES with a special edition and it did have the games inside of it still. Boom! It's the freaking deluxe set, which means it comes with Rob. Which is really cool because Rob has always been kind of my holy grail to find and we did find him about a year or so ago but he didn't come with any of his stuff or his adapters and we actually don't know if that Rob ever actually works so he's kind of been like a display piece but now we have Rob that unless age has gotten to him he works. So as she said there are some issues with the box on the side here, it looks like at one point they had duct taped yeah. it closed, so you have some of that residue, and then just a little bit of the duct tape on the side itself. There is a sticker up top. Aside from those two things, this box is in really great shape. It's not crushed. Most of the corners even look good. It's not ripped. It's not scored. It's not really faded. The handle actually still works, although I do try not to use the handle a whole lot if I can think about that. So it does still have the price sticker on it, and it is from Riches, and it was $139.99. Well, as beautiful as this looks in the box, let's get it open. All right, as you can see, the styrofoam is intact, so it wasn't just like all thrown into the box. Yeah. Look at that. Everything is still all in the plastic even. Like, they, he, he even said that they never played with Rob. They played the games. Now, you knew that there was no console in there, yes, correct? Yes, he did tell me that the console was gone because they played with that and it had been missing or something. So basically what I was bargaining with him for was working Rob, the box, because we can always just put any NES in there we oh, want yeah. to. You do have all of the paperwork right there. Yes, we do. We have the manual. Nice. It's so simple. A robot could almost do <laughs> it. Well, that's got to be offensive to our robotic Americans. <laughs> and then we have the certificate of authenticity. Nice. Then we even have the Calibrady stickers for Rob that haven't even been used. Yes, yeah, so if you take a look at this, you can see that it is still sealed. The other thing is, it's kind of funny, this is something that we do when we get anything. Anytime we open up something, if it comes with plastic, we just always stick it in the box and keep it, and so that's obviously what they did as well. And then we have the big giant fold-out poster. Look at all of those games. Super Mario Brothers. 
I knew about Mario Brothers, but there's a super? <laughs> there is the receipt for the purchase with the 90 day limited warranty. And I don't think it's going to be under warranty anymore. We'll see about that. And look at that. Check it out, Doc Lewis. Join the Nintendo Fun Club today. And the receipt is pretty faded, but it is August 28th, 1987. Wow. Along with that big poster, you have a couple little posters. And they basically show the same thing, more of the, uh, the black box games. And you do have your robotic operating buddy. And you know what? I mean, we've all seen Rob, so I'm actually not going to fully take him out of the plastic. He can kind of peek out. And he actually comes with both of his claws. Oh, that's Which so our nice. other Rob is missing one claw. Audio video cables. And then you've got your Rob trays. So you have the one with his buttons that will slowly press the controller. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. And then his tray that holds on to the gyros, which there's a gyro. And what's on the top of that? It has the uh, caution, don't touch while operating. The original paper is still there. And that goes for both of them. Yep. And the part that we were actually missing for our Rob was the spinner itself. So this is the device that once you have the batteries in there, it will spin the gyros. Rob picks them up. He sets them down on these little pads and that's what slowly presses the button on the controller. Mm -hmm. Or if you're playing a game like Gyromite, you can cheat and just sit there with two controllers and play it yourself and be a lot faster than your robotic operating buddy. Couldn't you just do this? Or just hold the controllers instead of even setting up the tray. But what's the fun in that? You're playing with power. That's all the extra, but the start of this video was all about our 3,000th game. And that would be a sealed gyromite. As you can see, it still has the hanging tab on the back that has not even been punched out of mm -hmm. the cardboard. This box, this game, has never been opened. And it has no reason to be because we already have a copy of Gyromite. Yeah. So, despite the fact that we always open our games and everything, I think this time, I'm gonna leave this one sealed. Yep. So, nerdlings, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, I proudly present to you, for Mr. and Mrs. Weston's peculiar home for wayward games and extraordinary consoles, our 3,000th video game, sealed, complete in box, Gyromite. She's doing the rob. This was a complete surprise to him. So don't say anything to surprise him. Pleased to meet you. Actually, we've met once before. What? I did not tell him that I was in the works of doing this and everything like that. My biggest thing was I wanted a working Rob with all of his bits and pieces, but I knew that he would be super excited to have the whole entire package, the box, the box game, Rob with all of his stuff, and the fact that he's never been out of his plastic. That's always very exciting because I wasn't worried about the fact that the console was missing because like I said, we can find those consoles anywhere and we can pop a console in there to complete the box. Yeah, easily. Again, since she surprised me and I had no idea this was copied, I mean, it was a shock to me. Honestly, having a boxed NES system, it was one of those, it's like, oh, if I ever find like uh, one of the base ones or something, yeah. that would be great, that'd be cool. Getting the one with Rob though, holy cow, that is incredible. Not only that, but even though Rob is one of your holy grails, he was one of my holy grails as well for the longest time. It's really awesome. It is a really great collector's piece, and it's fun to be able to take him out, you know, and show people. This is what he looked like in the box. This is what he looked like when he was wrapped in plastic, because it's such a piece of history. Is, I mean, think yeah. of all the children that would have been opening this Christmas morning and being so excited, tearing this guy out of the plastic. What is he? Is he a spaceman? I don't even know. Is he going gonna come into my room and kill me at night? I don't know, but I'm still excited because I'm just a little kid. You're a weird little kid. Maybe. <laughs>
But the thing is, it was really cool to get this in the box. And when I saw that this was still sealed in the box, I was like, you know what? We have the game, but uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to make a little exception. Because I was trying to make that 3000th game something special. Yep. I was like, this is it. This is totally it. So, nerdlings, thank you for joining us on the reveal of our 3000th yes. game. And it's in a good home. And since then, we have uh, surpassed that number a few times over. But I would love to hear any of your comments about Rob, Gyromite, mm -hmm. a boxed NES system, you know, getting a surprise like that. Maybe you've surprised your significant other or they've surprised you or someone else has surprised you or you've surprised someone and it's just all the surprises. Surprise! We wasted the good surprise on you. Nerdlings, I hope that if you like the video, you give it a like. And I want to hear your comments about any of this stuff. Maybe memories of Rob, memories of Gyromite, what you think about you know, seeing this stuff that hasn't been touched since, was it 87 on 87. that receipt? Yeah. Uh, if you ever got to open up your own <laughs> NES, maybe in your collection, or you got it back when you were a kid, but I'd definitely love to hear those. So please comment down below and make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. She surprises me with stuff all the time. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to TeePublic because we've got merchandise over there. And if we like it, nerdlings, we nerd it. Do the rap. I just need flashy eyes. Laser eyes. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> <laughs> so it was I was doing it because I want I wanted to he was one of my holy grails as well mm -hmm. because it's such that piece of you're a weird little kid <coughs> <laughs> Thanks, honey. You're welcome, honey. Not to play favorites, but you're kind of my favorite nerdling. Oh, you're my favorite nerdling. You're my favorite daddy.